TT on the go. It's Pac here with uh, Gary's campaign office here in Scarborough Rouge Park. We're going to talk to its members, its volunteers, and its supporters and see what's going down on today at Gary's office. Let's go. We are here with the former uh, Speaker of the House, uh, Dr. Curling. Nice to meet you. It's my pleasure to be back. All right, sir. And uh, I, this is a question I'm going to ask you. We all met Gary at different times in our lives. When did you first meet Gary? Oh, that's a difficult question. I mean, we made. Oh, Gary, a long time ago. Um, Gary has been around for me. He's a very young man when I... I got into politics in 1985 around here. Oh, wow. And sometime in between that time, I met Gary, and he was always engaged in coming up along, helping out in, in Scarborough. And um, I've been very, very effective, very engaging, um, very have a great interest in it also. I know Gary a long time, and he's also very close to my brother, Oswin, who was also my, one of my campaign managers, okay. too. So uh, he's been around. They call me Money Uncle. Money Uncle. And Money Uncle, uh, there's another qu here's a question that I'm going to ask you. All of us here have met Gary at a different time in our lives. When did you first meet Gary? I met a long time ago, but uh, since uh, Gary's nomination uh, two and a half years ago, uh, we were continuously working hard with him, and we succeed. And he's a great man, hard worker. There, he's a great leader for the community. Sue, so how long have you known Gary for? Uh, actually, uh, since the end of July, I guess, when okay. things got going. I um, decided I wanted to get involved with the Liberal Party right away because I really felt that the Northern Gateway Pipeline needed to be stopped and Justin said he would stop it, so I said, let's go for it. I think the first time I met Gary was probably at a Liberal fundraiser last fall. Um, if it wasn't that one, it was definitely the Liberal Christmas Party in December. Um, I remember I was attending events for the MP in the adjacent riding and I know Gary attended those events. And I got a chance to sort of meet him around the dinner table and and chat with him and found out that he was actually running in my riding where I actually live and so I was just thinking okay when the time comes I definitely want to get involved. Hi Gary how are you? I'm excellent how are you? I'm doing fabulous and here's a question for you today so three questions okay who was your role model growing up? Boy I think uh, I say Martin Luther King, Gandhi, um, uh, Lester Pearson, Pierre Trudeau, I could go on. I mean, there's, there, there are a lot of incredible role models. I, I asked you one, just one, <laughs> just one. Okay. That's a, that's a hard one. I, I would, I would say Gandhi. Gandhi. Okay. Why Gandhi? Because I think he, um, you know, he moved the, he changed the world uh, in many ways, and he paved the path for many great leaders uh, like Nelson Mandela and uh, uh, Martin Luther King to follow, uh, and they really, uh, you know, he, he, he led uh, the world in making sure that we. We have, a, you know, we have freedom. We have uh, uh, equality. Uh, I think he he went very far in, in achieving that, and I think the ripple effect is uh, it's not just with his generation, but it's it continues today. Who is your role model right now? Uh, it will be Justin Trudeau and Gary. Okay, so why Justin Trudeau and Gary? So well, they're bringing real change, and they're doing something for us, you people, and they really ta uh, they're taking care of us, right? They want to do something for us when we come into high school. Right now, I'm trying to look for a job to get some cash in my hands, but there's really no place I can go to. But they're saying they can do it, so I trust them. I probably would say even my grandfather, because I grew up in the east coast of Canada where people are more used to sort of living in harsher circumstances and stuff. And so to see that my grandfather kind of overcame that and you know, overcame that hardship and built a successful career, you know, built a, a family and stuff, despite the, the harsh living conditions they experienced, was really inspiring to me. He, who was your role model to get into politics? Oh, yeah, that's a difficult one. One of the persons that I'm really inspired by, very much so, is Pierre Trudeau and Jean Chrétien. Mm -hmm. uh, well, Jean Chrétien is much more a, a good friend, more than Pierre Trudeau at that time. But um, I like the kind of a casual, direct, uh, unpretentious way uh, Jean Chrétien behaves, uh, engaging. So he's a, like a role model about what politics is all about. When I was little. I guess my dad. Yeah. And why would you say your dad is your role model when you're little? Uh, because he was an honest individual. He was a very liberal person. Um, always looked after um, 
everything, uh, felt that everybody was fair, uh, believed in immigration. We actually immigrated from England, so everybody's here from somewhere, right? Brother. brother. Yeah. And why your brother? Brother is the one uh, uh, leading our uh, family and support our family, and because of him only we are here today. So what inspired you to, to get into politics? You know, Pac, we go way back. Yes. Okay, so, grade 10. So, so great, yeah, you're grade 10, my, you know, my 30s. Okay, so, <laughs> so um, you know, I always felt that you know, in order to, you know, I've worked for a long period of time on individual things, right? So if it's a young person getting into trouble, then I work with that individual. If it's a problem with one school, then I worked in that school. Um, and I mean, as a lawyer, I've been doing individual cases. So at some point, you kind of realize, you know, these are all patchwork. These are band-aids. And while it's good for that, you know, individual or that issue, it doesn't have broader public policy implications. And I think the only way you can do that is if you're at the table. And I feel that as a member of parliament, that, that is probably the best way to, to have structural change and change across uh, the country. So that's the reason I'm running for office. And to everybody that's watching this right now that are, uh, you know, looking at Gary signs all over Scarborough Rouge Park, what do you have to say to them? Yeah, honesty is always been. So Gary campaign team have an honesty work. You know, even I, I go to put some signs. Always we go to the house owners, we ask the permission. With their permission only we put the signs. You know, we don't go any illegal things, you know. Um, we don't contempt anybody, we, got, we don't put down anybody, we work hard to succeed. I guess what I want to say is, first of all, for the youth of the community, definitely get involved in politics. You can make some great connections, you can bring positive change to your community. And to just citizens in general, you know, after 10 years of this government, we need to bring some real change to Ottawa, and Gary is going to be such a strong voice for our community. And I think that there's no way we can go wrong if we choose Gary to represent us in Ottawa. To everybody that's watching this right now, what would you like to say to Gary supporters and people who live in Rouge Park? Well, not only too much to the Gary supporters. I want to those who are not Gary oh, yeah. supporters too, that, that they should um, vote for Gary. Gary is a, is a good individual, a person who is a, would be a wonderful representative of this constituency. And what I mean is that their issues and their concerns uh, I know would be well represented in Ottawa, and he listens very well. And for his supporters now, I ask them to come out and get those who need to be told about Gary and his good works to vote for him, because that's what a democratic process is all about, for us to be engaged. I appeal to the young people to realize how important this is to them to be involved and make sure that they are at the polls. If they can't, they can take somebody there, they can phone and all that. So I encourage them all to be a part of this wonderful process, this democratic process that made this great country what it is. Well, Scarborough Rouge Park is such a dynamic riding. It has incredible people. It has some, some great landscapes uh, in all GTA. It also has its fair share of challenges. It has a, a challenge with jobs. Um, a lot of young people are unemployed or underemployed. Uh, there's a l lack of infrastructure. Uh, and Scarborough as a region doesn't have the respect, uh, you know, as you know, uh, across the, the, the city or the, the province. Um, and what I want to say is that I want to, um, to be able to advocate on these issues, make sure that we have better transit, we have better infrastructure, we have, um, you know, we're able to create jobs, we're able to bring uh, businesses and industry into Scarborough Rouge Park and other parts of Scarborough, and make sure that Scarborough becomes, uh, you know, really reflects the people that are here and make sure that we have um, incredible resources so that, so that our young people can, can prosper, they can live here for long periods of time, they can start their families and they could, you know, basically call it their home for the future. So on behalf of TT and everybody that's watching this, we wish you all the best in this race. And everybody say, Go Gary! Go Gary!